This week on To Catch a Predator, we follow a young boy who, while forced to wear girl clothes against his will, what wound up at a closed-down amusement park where a group of wild hoodlums, including a girl who is mad that boys find him sexier than her, a crazy guy constantly talking about his manhood, a police officer of all people, who now we know dominates people, and also a strange assortment of other strange people, including delinquents and pedophilic monks. Will we save this boy? Where is this bit going? I don't know. I'm insanely weirded out right now. Y'all got no clue what this episode did to me, people. This was just like cranked up to 11 from second one, and it did not stop. <laughs> Let us, let's decipher this. Let's talk about where this went. So, we first run in to Yu Yu, Megumi, and Zakuza hanging out. I do not remember who was playing Zakuza because this episode is so insane. 22 minutes ago feels like an hour and a half ago. But yeah, someone's playing Zakuza. Zakuza's playing Orphist. Uh, which, I don't know if they had specifically said that or shown it before, but I just kind of assumed he was playing Hexorp. Like, you know, he's kind of a feminine looking character. You kind of think that they'll go that kind of route, but no, he plays, uh, Mio Link Joker. Go figure. Uh, so they're playing, and I think it is then insinuated Zakuza has just wailed on this deck. It genuinely seemed like the way he put it when he said the shininess of his cards... I think he's supposed to insinuate that he went full SP, full hollow. Like, this guy just fucking went for it. And if you've seen prices, you know full hollow or fist can be kind of expensive. So good for you, man. Show that what you love. I still can't bring myself to SP out Bastion, for crying out loud. But yeah, so while they're playing... Uh, what's this guy's name? I've just got the names in front of me now. Shut up, computer. Masanori comes in while playing Ride of the Valkyrie in a helicopter. Where to get the helicopter? Is the music really there? It's insinuated literally it's really there. But yeah, he just freaking pops out of nowhere with a fucking helicopter. I don't understand it. Uh, you know what? We're back in the universe where a guy rode a horse up the side of a building, so what should we expect? But so then, this presumably just normal guy who follows a med student around all day, like, is looking for Donji, but in the process, like, sends Zakuza's cards off flying. Which is kind of funny, because in so many card game anime, uh, it's just revealed, it's just always treated like cards are, like, steel. They're, like, heavy, but can only be lifted by the, pro by the character using them, and can be, like, flung and kill people. It's ridiculous, but here's, like, no, they just went fucking flying. And he's really mad, because full, like, Orphus, like I said, is expensive. And so I expected that the next thing Zakuza did was he'd do what characters like him usually do uh, in these sorts of shows, and he's got, like, a passive-aggressive attitude. No, he busts out the Squirtle Squad sunglasses. <laughs> and it's just like, like, doing what they call it, like, punk talk. He's just, like, angry, pissed. It's so different from what you expect. How could you not laugh? We then need Tamari to translate for him. What a great little character moment. What a clever way to give them both something to do. I really dig that. So yeah, we find out Zakuza, two years ago, was part of like a street gang and was the most feared like hoodlum in the whole like area of Japan they lived in <laughs> before being brought in by Tamari who got him to go back to school and like got him into Vanguard and tried to bring discipline to his life, ending the whole thing with being his dominatrix. That is where that went. How else am I supposed to read it besides that? So, then, uh, Masanori leaves, ignores what to do about the Orphis, says hi to Yu Yu, and just, like, goes. And so then they run into Donji, and we get the next little fun thing they bring up. Zakuza can't afford to replace his full Hollow Orphis deck. Yeah, 
You ever notice people just, like, give out rare and, like, expensive cards in these shows like it's nothing? Like, in the real world, especially now where Vanguard is the most expensive it's been in a surprisingly long time. There's like, no, I can't afford this shit. Like, Zakuza is that guy at Locals who buys four boxes straight, pulls nothing but trash, and is like, I'm going in for a fifth, guys. Uh, but yeah, so then... Uh, things get fucking weird, because they're standing in this bathhouse, and I'm like, oh no. Oh no. No. The studio clamp aspect of the show's coming out again. Lo and behold, she lets them use the bath. Donji doesn't stick around. And so Yuyu and Zakuza are in the bath together. Yuyu needs to get out. Yuyu, leave. This guy has been, like, changed. He's no longer fundamentally a normal man. Not that there's anything wrong with anyone in that kind of relationship, but you're such a young, impressionable, innocent boy, we hope. We don't know if you actually like being in the girl clothes or not. You need to save yourself, you, you. But don't worry. Because I don't have to worry about that, because now I have something else to worry about! The, the Valkyrie music comes back. They acknowledge it. That's funny. The helicopter is back. Why does he have a helicopter? And he just jumps in balls first that's what Yu Yu and Zakuza saw they were looking up at him they saw this monk's tiny monks he shows up he tells a backstory that doesn't really line up with what we saw from Toya's backstory but it's clever because then he's like hey believe it or not so they're actually right out telling you maybe this is nonsense maybe there's truth to it it's a real funny way to keep the audience engaged let them wonder for themselves but yeah, so then he just starts touching up Yu Yu and feeling him. And I'm just like, help, he needs an adult. Someone, please save this child. Someone call an adult. Oh no, not Zakuza. <laughs> Zakuza saves Yu Yu. And then, right when the FBI is opening up, uh, the guy leaves and he's gone. And Yu Yu needs therapy, but oh no, they're just going to stick him in another dress. B -b poor Yu Yu. So then, uh, the guy shows up at uh, the, the amusement park, and Donji's still not there. The guy says, if you show up again, go fuck yourself, that kind of thing. Uh, then the guy, I forget if it was the third or fourth time. It might have been actually the third time. Zakuza starts shooting fireworks at this guy. He's trying to fucking kill him. It's amazing. It's insanity. Just pure fucking craziness then the next night this guy shows up he's got the fucking buddha buddha is here taken straight from your local like chinese shopping mall so then uh th th this guy he's got an army of dancing monks which makes you wonder was the story more true than you think i don't know i don't know anything anymore <laughs> and so then uh him and zakuza fight and you know, when two of the most fun new decks everyone's talking about in the new format is the low point of the episode, you know something was accomplished here. Oh, also, let's not forget the part where he just talks smack about the area, and Tamari just freaking loses it, and, like, wants Sakuza to play him in Vanguard, but wants everyone to say it in a sexy male voice. I love how everyone's going Vanguard, you use, like, this is fucking weird. So then they card fight, and Zakuza wins. I think Orphist is thought of as the stronger deck. Um, I'm actually seeing more like hybrid builds, where they use the cat grade 3, but they use the grades uh, 0 through 2 for Orphist for the draw, uh, which is interesting. Uh, but anyways, so uh, then the match ends, and the guy's gonna leave, and I think that's when Donji shows up. It's so freaking insane, this episode. And, like, then the guy's like, oh, yeah, time to fight Toya again. Because, you know, we got to get back to the plot of the show. And then they just kind of stop there. It felt more like one of those stops where they just had to stop somewhere. So they figured now's okay. But whatever. Uh, then the episode ends. And I'm just like, good lord. Boy. What's kind of interesting, uh, if I can just calm down for a minute, is in G... 
G had a lot of episodes like this. A lot of G episodes is just kind of like not a lot of plot, like shenanigans and then a card fight that you don't really see a ton of. And then the episode just kind of ends. The difference and the reason this is really good is that the characters have so much more expressive personalities. Um, the world is presented as more fun and entertaining. The plots themselves are more entertaining. Where they go with it is just more crazy and zany. The animation is probably not much, if at all, better than G. And I don't think it's quite as entertaining and, like, phonetic as Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's, but it's just so committed to its own brand of fun and silliness like how could you just not love it and of course you know the horniness uh yeah so that was this week's card fight vanguard overdress pretty normal you know n n nothing insane happened uh two little things uh one uh it was announced last week that target will be selling trading card stuff I didn't know if I should do a video about that again because I was sort of hoping that they would put out an official statement and rules and stuff, but I don't think they have. So I don't know if I just do a speculation video. Let me know if you want that. Uh, as for the Vanguard question of the week, uh, online Spring Fest happened this weekend and everyone seemed to like it. Like, everyone had fun with it, uh, which is good. I uh, didn't compete because I was away, uh, but, you know, I'm really happy that it worked out for a lot of people. Uh, what'd you think? Uh, did you watch the event? Did you participate? Did you enjoy it? Did you kind of miss the real thing? I mostly just missed the real thing. And did you like the decks that topped? Um, you know, Bastion, which is my deck. I'm kind of feeling bad about just how busted Bastion is in uh, D. I would tell you that below. And as always, click to like, click subscribe, and join me for just God knows what next.